Hi teachers, welcome back to Sean's Corner. I'm Sean Searson from International's Porto, and this week we're going to focus on our development. And we're going to do that by looking at two items from Top 10 Things to Do in 2019. It was one of our teachers' training sessions at International's Porto at our center in Foch. In this session, we looked at 10 things that would be great for our development in 2019. We looked at some things that would liven our class, that would bring in new resources, and some tools we could use. And today we're going to look at point six and point eight, which are kind of strange areas to look at, but they have to do with two apps. And in light of our new or upcoming IT at IH course, where we're going to look at how we can use technology in our classrooms or preparing for our classes, um, we're going to look at these apps, and I think you'll have a good time. Because these apps, or at least one of these apps, will increase your English skills, your academic skills, and your math skills. We'll see how. The other one is a dictionary. And it's a very great, it's a great dictionary. It's Merriam-Webster's dictionary. And we're going to look at the features of this, and it's just something really important to have on your phone, because you always have a dictionary at your fingertips. And it's free. So let's take a look at these. Inside the Merriam-Webster app, we can see several different features. First of all, there is the word of the day that's on the front to, you know, kind of help us learn some new words and have a little vocabulary fun. Secondly, um, we can, of course, look up a word, a simple word like put. When we get inside, we can click on the little microphone, the little loudspeaker, and we can hear the pronunciation. We can see all of the definitions. Um, we can see idioms as well. So it's really got a lot of different um, expressions. And also, they, you have some, some cases where there are examples of these idioms. Okay, going back to the top and seeing all the different parts of speech, um, the different areas that it has definitions for, um, let's consider that we want to look for a phrasal verb. So put off. It gives me an, app, an ad, first of all. Sorry. It's a free version, so it's got ads. Um, but here we are, it put off and gives the definitions. Also gives some synonyms and antonyms. Now let's look at an idiom, put your foot in it, or put your foot in your mouth. So we're going to go back to put, because um, I did see a whole bunch of phrases there. And scrolling down, we have the fixed phrases, the idioms. Ah, but we also have the etymology, um, and that's a real important thing for me. I like knowing when a word was invented or used first. Okay. Also another, we happen to have a noun and an adjective. Forgot about that. Now that you've seen the dictionary app, let's move on to Elevate. And it's a game, but this is a good thing. The free version only allows you to play three games a day, so you won't become too addicted. Let's take a look at the different kinds of games. These are just a sample, so please keep in mind what I'm showing you isn't all that's there. There are absolutely tons of games in Elevate, and they adjust to your level. One of the features of the app is that it helps you with expressions that you may have had trouble with in previous games. In my case, I got Stark Raving Mad wrong, I think, and I also got Down in the Dumps wrong. Mm, or maybe just pretended I did. Anyway, that's a training that it gives you. I'll, now, but let's go into the recommended games of the day. The first one is dealing with syntax, and we're looking at words that are commonly misunderstood or um, problems like punctuation as well can be here. She's a chemistry major, shouldn't be capitalized. And love to eat fish. No, it's loves. I invited them so they come along. No, it's past tense, came. Javier learned about the Red Sea in school. Well, should be capitalized. And in the morning, she's heading west. Shouldn't be capitalized. That was one game, but let's go on to another. And let's see. Hmm, do you think I'll make a mistake this time? Maybe. We're going to go on to agility, reading. And we're going to look at vocabulary here. We're going to look for synonyms. So a synonym for ruin would be destroy. Commence, start, chronic, constant, Peaceful, calm, rudimentary, mm, basic, elusive, evasive, germane, mm, irrelevant, and lazy, of course that's inactive, scold, 
applaud. No, yell that, yell at, relax, loosen, and so on. And so you see, we won the game. There's a lot of satisfaction in that, I think. Okay, last game. It's always three games that are free for per day. Word parts. So we're going to build words here. Tap the correct word part. So around or about is circum. Three, try, yeah. Kind or type is a gen. Now then we use these parts to assemble the words relating to stone. Lithic. Stone that aids in digestion. Gastrolith. Ah, but I put gastroism. Hmm. Gastrolith, yes. <clears throat> Type of microorganism that causes disease, pathogen, and to cause to became to be the same. Equalized. Difficult to believe. Incredible. Able to be fixed or known. Uh, I didn't have time. So you see, this is another game. We finished our game for the day. We get our score. And we can see our progress. And that's it. And that helps us build up our brain skills. So I know you're thinking, where's the math? Well, let me show you now. I'm going to take and play a game from another day's um, free games. And look, we're going to play division, a division game. So the idea is they give you different multiples to divide by. 555 divided by 5, 111, right? Okay. 146 divided by 2. You see how fast I am at this? Oh, I'm not very fast. 73. Yes. 1050 divided by 10. I'm going to make a mistake here. Or not. No. 105. 1845 divided by 9. Well, I know the last part is going to be 5. Let's see about the first part. Let's see if I get it right. Oh, I forgot. I have to have 205, not 25. And so it gives you a tip here. 333 divided by 3. Hmm. I was slow in typing it in, but did a good job. And now I'm going to make another mistake. Just so you can see the training that it gives you. Okay. So, and it shows you a tip. It shows you how to divide up the dividing division so that it's easier to conceptualize and then come up with your answer very quickly. So it really coaches you through it. <clears throat> okay, so that was Elevate. I hope you enjoyed that app and I think it really does help you think a little bit quicker. So it's summertime. Take the time to take out your mobile phone, take out your smartphone, play around a little bit, don't feel guilty. And you'll be developing your skills with your phone. At the same time, you're also working with your brain and with your English. And it'll help you be ready to prepare your students for their English challenges. Thanks for coming to Sean's Corner. Looking forward to seeing you next week. And have some fun. Bye.